In this video, we are going to be installing Putty on Windows 11. With Putty, you can connect to routers, switches, or virtual machines like Ubuntu, Kali Linux. So without further ado, let's get started with the installation process. First, open up your browser, go to google.com, and type Putty download, and press enter. Go to the first link where it says download Putty or free SSH and Telnet client for Windows. And when you're on this page, click download Putty. And under package files, you have the option to download Putty for three different types of architecture, 64-bit, 64-bit ARM, and 32-bit. To check which type of architecture you have, right-click on this PC and click on properties. Here under system type, I can see that I have 64-bit operating system, x64 based processor. So I'll select the first link and my download will begin. After the download is completed, open the folder that your file got downloaded to. And I can confirm this is the installer that just got downloaded. Now click on the file two times, click on next. You have the option to change the default installation location if you want, but I will keep it as default and keep it under C program files and then click on next. I'll add a shortcut to the desktop. So I'll select will be installed on local hard drive and then click on install. And my installation will be finished. Uncheck the view readme file and click on finish. And I can now see Putty has been installed successfully and the icon of Putty exists on my desktop. Click on the icon two times to start Putty. And now I'll SSH to a virtual machine. So I'll open up my virtual machine. I'll use Kali Linux. Here firstly, I can see the hostname or IP address. I will provide the IP address of my Kali Linux, which is this one. Make sure to select the correct port and you can choose different connection type, SSH, serial. Here you have different options too. I will be selecting SSH for this video. Next, just click on open and then type your username for the machine and then type your password. And now I can see that I'm connected to my Kali Linux through Putty. And during the connection formation, if you're getting the error, network error connection timeout, then please watch the video in the link in the description box. So that is how you install Putty on Windows 11. Thank you so much for watching the video.